What's up guys, Desert B here and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Zora's domain is all clear of the sludge and everybody seems happy. Ooh. Baz the Link, so you're responsible for the sludge disappearance? I might have guessed as much, thank you good sir. As captain of the guard, it is my duty to reflect upon the awful tragedies endured by the domain because of the upheaval. Oh. From this moment forward, I shall forever steal myself in service of his majesty, King Sidon. I shall do so faithfully, just as my father, Sagan, served the exalted Dwarfin. Oh yeah, and that was the other thing. Sidon is now the king, and Yona is the queen. They didn't really have an actual wedding, which is kind of a little sad. I was hoping to see, like... Like a wedding like they did in Terrytown in Breath of the Wild for them, but I guess it was all kind of part of the same thing. Hi. They found the exalted Dwarfin and also King Sidon returned to the domain. <laughs> it's amazing, it's great, and maybe it's even fate. <laughs> hey, you're the guy who helped our dear King Sidon save the domain, right? I was covered in that gross sludge and so was resting a lot. All I can say is that it was terrible. Just thinking about it makes me... Er, uh, excuse me. That's the effect of the sludge, you see. Thank you for saving me. Uh, I mean, by that, I mean the domain. So, yeah, these guys don't really have side quests. It doesn't seem like... Clef? He's unconsciously talking about crabs again. This is just so awkward. If you ask me, Clef from the general store has been acting odd recently. Crab this, shell that, mumbling stuff like that all the time these days. I wonder if something's wrong. Well, he has a quest. This is our general store, the Coral Reef. <laughs> we were finally able to restock our fish thanks to His Majesty King Sidon and the Courageous Link. You really helped all of us out of a pinch. Anyhow, if you see something you like, please just crab it from the table. Oh, unless you have some other business with me. Tell me and I shall not dawdle. <laughs> oh, perhaps I'm not doing a sufficient job of hiding my overpowering feelings about bright-eyed crabs. Yeah. You see, I met a bright-eyed crab right around the time all of this nonsense with the sludge came to an end. I was unable to stock any fish because of the damage caused by the sludge, and then it appeared. It was a single glorious crab. It, it, it crossed my path while I was fussing and fuming. I was irritated. I was famished, and so oh. I swallowed it whole. I think you're supposed to deshell them. Uh, yeah, the spikes were incredibly painful, but once I was able to transcend the pain, there was magic awaiting me. No, more like it was greeting me with a warm hug of savory umami goodness. It was the tastiest thing ever, perhaps. <laughs> I'm positively drooling just thinking about it. One or two is not enough. Not nearly. I need ten crabs. I, pr I probably Ooh. have them. I pick these up all the time. Ooh. There you go. Just gazing upon them, I feel that you mammy goodness washing over me the intense pain and washing over the intense pain in my mouth. <laughs> you have my thanks. In fact, here, since this is our first crab trade, I threw in a little bonus. Oh, a sapphire. Ooh. When you gather more, please let me know. <laughs> At that time, I will make a trade for some products that are equal in value to the number of crabs you shell out. Okay. So he'll trade me crabs. I don't think I want any of this. This guy has a quest. Yeah. Oh, this might be for the Zora Spear. Link, once again, you have Zora's, you've done Zora's Domain a great service. Thanks to the efforts of you and your young King Sidon, oh, our young King Sidon, the domain has been saved, and you must allow me to thank oh. you. Link, if you intend to go up against the various phenomena plaguing this world, you need a weapon that is up to the task. The light scale trident has been passed down through generations of the Zora since ancient times. It will not fail you. Bring me the necessary materials and I will craft one for you with all due haste. You must acquire a Zora spear, three diamonds, and five pieces of flint. Even a Zora spear that is decayed will suffice. Return to me when you have re the required materials. All right. Well, that's going to be a while. I don't think I have... Yeah, I only have two diamonds. And really, I'm more excited about getting the weapons from Gerudo Town first. What about you? Oh no. Frank! Oh, he, he's the one that lost his wife in Breath of the Wild. Um, a floating place. I'm sure that's what I heard. But I actually saw her before we cleared the sludge. Link, how wonderful. You, um, you heard me talking to myself, didn't you? Since you're here, I must ask you something a bit odd. Have you heard anything about a floating place? Sure, there's lots of them. Here's my tale. When my dear wife, May, went out fishing, she was singing this mysterious, mysterious mm -hmm. song to herself. 
I found a floating place where I'll catch fish with grace. I hop in a skid to a great fishing trip and without my wife hopped and skipped over to the bridge in the east of the domain. At the time, I paid it no heed. She is given to songs of fancy, but her absence has started to weigh heavily on my mind. A floating place? A hop and skip away? I've never heard of such a place. My wife is the type to rush off in a fit of excitement. I'm worried that she'll do something rash. Oh, my beloved May, I dearly hope that she's not gone somewhere dangerous. I wish I could remember which kid was theirs. I'll protect him. I don't know if it's any of these kids, but uh, in Breath of the Wild, they did have a kid. And it, it was called A Wife Washed Away in Breath of the Wild. It's funny that now she's <laughs> she hasn't changed. She's still just running off, doing her own thing. All right, who else is here to talk to? No. How about anybody up here? I'm just looking for people with side quests, really. Oh, no, don't tell me. Oh, he doesn't have a quest. Ah, yeah. oh, Link, it's good to see you. I am here, after all, indebted. Wait, I am, after all, indebted to you for your repair of the stone slate. Thank you. Thanks to your efforts, the sludge has disappeared, meaning that I can resume my research. Needless to say, I cannot possibly thank you enough. Speaking of thanks, Queen Yona has been searching for the Zora Greaves. She means to gift them to you. I recall an old text mentioning that they were dedicated to the ancient Zora waterworks. However, Queen Yona has searched the waterworks and turned up nothing. The Greaves are nowhere to be found. Despite that, I still feel as if they must be somewhere within the waterworks. Perhaps they're in a less obvious place, or maybe there's a chamber in the waterworks we're unaware of. All right. Yeah, I'm going to be going there because I do want the Zora armor. And then they also told me where to find the helm as well. Who is this? Sagan. Oh, Link. Uh, the blessed reign of King Sidon has finally arrived. I cannot think of an occasion more worthy of celebration. If only Princess Mifa were still with us, I'm certain she would be overjoyed. I'm curious because if Princess, if, yeah, if Princess Mifa were still with us, uh, she's the firstborn, so would she have inherited the throne instead of Sidon, you know? I don't, yeah, anyways. Um, it still burns brightly in my mind's eye like a star that never fades, no matter how distant. The vision of Princess Mifa grasping her light scale trident in the moonlight, a gentle smile upon her yeah. face. So lovely. Your breath would catch at the sight of her as though she were an ether ethereal being and not flesh and blood. I dearly wish I could see Prim Princess Mifa standing in the moonlight once more, if only. The moonlit princess. Calm down, I just want the arrows. So I wonder if I can just take a picture of her statue. Oh, all the kids are going to bed. And here's Yona, which I already got the quest from her. Dorfin's still up there on the throne. So I think, so one of them, well, the, oh, well, so where was the waterworks? Okay, so that was up there as well. Oops. Yep. Yeah, let's go up here. And I'm pretty sure that wife washed away is somewhere over here too. So I think we should just go up these waterfalls and then look and see if we can find both pieces. Oh, another quest. Huh. Gaddison, hey, he could he could join um, Terrytown or the I guess Bolson Construction. Link, thank you for saving the domain once again. I can never repay you for all of that for all that you've done for us. But even though the sludge is gone, these foul villains keep showing up. Well, tell me what's wrong. Uh. They're monsters. They built a fort east of Reservoir Lake in the north of Jabu Ridge. They're taking advantage of the chaos that was caused by the sludge. What rotten villains! Oh. There's no way to know if it's true, but there's a rumor that a Hylian has been captured. That is unacceptable, and for all we know, the domain could be targeted next. We can't just sit back and watch. Mm. We need a plan, and fast. All right. Jabu Ridge. Um. Yeah, let's just go up the waterfall, I think. There's always so many new quests after you finish one of the regional phenomena, which is pretty typical of any Zelda game. After you do a main quest, you just have a ton of side quests to catch up on. I honestly don't know which is my favorite, doing the actual main quest or doing the side quest after. 
Also, I don't know if this is just pure coincidence, but they keep saying the Zora in particular. I keep hearing them say things like, um, I will not fail or it shall not fail you. And I don't know if that's something to do with in Hyrule Warriors, you know, how um, one of Sidon's lines was something. I think he just said, I shall not fail or something like that. And I'm pretty sure I heard Sidon say it once or twice, too. Come on, guys. Somebody get some hits in. Nice job. You know, Tulin, I swear, is the only useful one on this team. And then we've got another broadsword. And then where'd the other one go? I think they may have taken out that green. Lizalfos. Mm, I just wanted the loot, but I don't see it. Boomerang. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, I think let's just go and pursue the... the quest for the armor and Sidon I would imagine Sidon's probably going to have something for me soon because every other regional phenomena quest we've done the sage usually has a quest that gives you the divine helm May was right here before we cleared the sludge um let's see so the Fort, uh, no. Never ending lecture. So this is the one for the helm within the fish, fish island or something like that. Fish in the sky. I assume that's probably where we already were. So let's go take a look. Yeah, is there, uh, looks like everybody's gone now from here. Oh, you know, let's go get a picture of Mipha's statue up here in the moonlight. Does this guy have a quest? Trello. It's fortunate that this place survived the panic surrounding the sludge. Still, Leto was quite worked up about all of the damage. It certainly is in dire need of repair. He is in a rather excited state when he left to look for materials at East Reservoir Lake. I hope he finds what he needs. Maybe there's going to be somebody with a quest at East Reservoir Lake. And then, so that's the actual temple area up there. Here we go. Yep. That was exactly the quest. Is Groove still here? Hmm. I didn't see Groove in town either. I just wondered if he was going to want another, like, a dive or something from us. But I don't know where he went. Oh, a Korok. Where's your friend? Oh, that's totally, that's exactly where I'm going. So let's do this. Plus, I was I am starting to feel like all of a sudden I do need more weapon slots. All right. So, yeah, I think we'll just probably focus on doing some side quests for now and then um well, as soon as we wrap up the Zora's domain area, I think I will go straight to uh, look out landing and see what's going on there and get the next quest, I guess. See what Pura suggests we do next. Is that? Oh, it's a balloon. All right. I thought this was an orb for a second. I was like, oh, is this a puzzle? But no. Um, how did I get over here last time? 
I know we use the waterfall. I guess maybe I just use Tulin. Okay, yeah, this will work. This ability is going to open up um, at least a one that I can think of right at the top of my head. An area that has a waterfall from coming down off of a floating island that we haven't gotten to go and explore yet. It's got somewhere down... Uh, it's kind of close to this tower, I believe. Somewhere... I don't know. There was in some island, floating island, that has a waterfall. Maybe it's this one. Oh, yeah. I think maybe this one because you can see the water coming off of it. Have to remember to check that out. Now, what is this? Um, da -da -da. Apparently, it rests within a sky fish. I mean, this has got to be it, right? Let's turn on the shrine detector. Treasure chest. Okay, there's a chest nearby. I wonder if I could have actually actually found this before doing the temple. Hello. Um. Uh oh. Oh, there's nothing to land on. What do I do? Oh, uh, geez. Now it's above? So it's like in... Somewhere in this thing. Um, where's that waterfall? We gotta get back up. Okay, so it seems like it's like in the center of this island. Something about it being swallowed by a fish. The fish's head is technically right here. And that, that's the only clue we have. Chroma and Kira are looking for the Zora helm. Apparently it rests within a sky fish. That's just not really helpful at all. Uh, I don't know why I love the sound of that bird. It just sounds so like it's like lonely, I guess, but not in a bad way. If that even makes sense. Um Let's try some of these. Maybe I can get a better view from over here. see anything it rests within a sky fish how are you supposed to figure this out let's just take one more look around this thing see if we see any kind of like an opening or a cave Oh my gosh. Oh, why, 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 Link? Why? I just didn't. Anyways, I found it, but hold on. That um, was really hard to see, actually. But they do have a light. Maybe in the dark it would be easier to spot. Well, I think you 100% could have maybe gotten this before finishing the mainline quest. If you knew where to look. So it was right, uh, right here. Wow. How cool. Zora Helm allows you to spin attack while swimming. The never ending lecture can finally end. All right, next up, let's go to the waterworks which is right down here. And let's see if we can uh, find the chest down there, which I really, I definitely did not fully explore that area when we were there. Huh. 
because I know we saw a bubble frog. Well, at one point I like, I ascended and I saw a bubble frog and I really wasn't sure where I had got out to and I was a little bit afraid to finish the ascend and actually exit because I didn't want to leave the area that we were supposed to be in at the time. But now we're good. East Reservoir Lake. Oh, that one guy should be here too. Whoever... Whoever that one Zora that we just spoke to. Okay, and let's also check the clue and see if it says anything specific. Probably not, just that it's here. Chest nearby. Okay, let's put the... Yeah. So... It's here in side quests. Pride of the Gerudo picked... Where is it at? Token of friendship? Zora Greaves. Here we go. Offered in the distant past as a token of friendship. You should be able to access the ancient waterworks from the reservoir east of the domain. All right. So it's somewhere straight ahead of us, I guess. The sensor's going wild. All right, to the left. Makes sense. I wonder if there's anything up there. Ah, darn it. Hold on, let's put the other armor on. I think uh, I would really like to try and get these um, stable, what are they called? Princess, potential princess sighting quests done uh, as soon as possible so that we can get the other piece to this armor. Okay, nothing is up there. I just thought, I don't know, maybe there was like a cape. Oh, hey, who are you? The water. Oh, it's Groove. Well now, well now, is that you, Link? Let me guess, have you also come here in search of a lovely new diving spot? If so, I have some heartbreaking news to share. This will be tough to bear, but I ask that you stay strong. Yeah. There is no water here, none. What do you mean? The place is soaked. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you are right. The water's gone. <laughs> okay. I'd hoped to break new ground by diving amid these solemn ruins. I was positively beaming with excitement. Alas, my joy was short-lived. When I arrived, the water suddenly retreated until I could see the ground beneath. A diver without water is like a bird without sky. It's a sad state of affairs, I assure you. <laughs> it grooves dramatic. Um, okay, yeah, this was definitely not like this the last time we were here. Wonder what happened to the water. So to start, let's just see. Is hiding like cave entrances or something? No. It's above. Um, okay. Wow, the music right here is, like, kind of competing for first place with my favorite music in the game. Uh, right now, I think my favorite music in the game is... Oh, man. I think my favorite music so far in the game is the, um... The Northern Ruins, or whatever they were called in Gerudo, in the Gerudo area. Oh. Hmm, okay, it seems like it's this way. Assuming that the sensor is actually picking up the right one, I guess it could be... No, it's this way. Maybe up here? Oh, 
Oh, come on, Link. Gosh. Yeah, I can't wait to get that sticky armor upgrade. Come on. So now this way. Oh, oh no, this isn't it. A Zora Longsword. It's got increased attack power when you're wet, but is it one-handed or two-handed? I guess regardless, I'll take it. Because that thing's almost broken anyways. I think these are two-handed, though. Yeah, long swords usually are. Okay. Um. So what? Over there now? N finding new objective. Something is over this way. Uh, geez, that's gonna be a tough climb. Is there an easier way to do this? Oh, no. I wonder if I was to drink one of these elixirs and have this armor on, if that would help. I mean, you would think, right? I believe even with the with the armor fully upgraded, like, so if I jump right now, he'll slip every single time, but with the armor fully upgraded, you really don't slip at all. It's so satisfying. Which way do I go? Um... I don't know. Let's just climb, I guess. It still says it's above me. It kind of sucks that even a high-level slip resistance elixir doesn't make you slip proof. Like you would think, right? Come on, Link! Oh my gosh. It's like so hard not to jump. <laughs> Ugh, we're almost there. I don't really feel like the elixir's doing anything. Oh, here's something. Um, so how would you... I mean, I can't set them on fire because it's raining, right? Let's just test that. Yeah. Um, wow, how do you do this? I would need to build a roof or something. But there isn't anything here. What about a fire weapon? Shoot. So, okay, what else? Um, what about reduce power? Oh my word. Um, What can I use? What do we have in Ultra Hand or Auto Build? We've got these. These might provide some shade from the wind or these. Um, or this actually, or this. I don't know. Let's just like try something. Yeah. I don't even know what this is from. I'll just like prop it up right there. And now let's try a fire fruit. Or here, whatever. I have a thing on. Ow. 
Nice! Okay. I wonder how they intended you to do this. I just so happen to have this in my auto build, but what else could you do to make this work if you didn't have something like that? Okay, that wasn't the one with the Zora Greaves. Now there's something below us? Oh, what's this? Oh, my goodness. Hold on. This is new, right? We wouldn't have been able to access this before if it was um, underwater. Or is it? I don't know. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. This looks new. So maybe like they were saying, a chamber that they didn't yet know about or something like that. Let me just get the bomb flower. Oh, I don't have the armor piece on. Swim up. Oh, goodness. Ooh, here we go. This has got to be it. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> okay. This has got to be it. Why in the world? Zora Greaves. Okay, they've been passed down among the Zora for generations. It's been said that they're crafted, crafted using dragon scales to equip them to swim faster. It's a bit strange, I think, that... They were down here in this cave. I mean, what happened to the ones that... Oh, my goodness. What happened to the ones that I wore in Breath of the Wild, you know? We got a talus. Wait, I want to get up onto its back. Oh, gosh. All right, what kind of a big weapon do I have? This will do. Nice! Let's uh, fuse that to this. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there's another chest in here, but I don't care about it. We got what we wanted. Now I guess to get out of here though, how... How would I do that? I'd kind of like to find how I found that bubble frog when I was in here before, but... Well, yeah, because Kilton is gonna... Or not Kilton. Colton is gonna want all of the bubble frogs, right? So if I want to finish that quest, I have to find it. Oh, no! Ugh. I don't really remember which... Um... Which pipe they were in. Or that I was in, I guess. Can't get in there. Oh, boy. More... Wet climbing. I wonder if I can ascend. Oh, thank goodness. And there's a gate on that one. Groove is over there. Maybe it was that one? Nope, that looks like a gate. Where the heck were we? That one's got a gate. Huh. 
I turned on Breath of the Wild for a little while today to get some footage for a short video that I was making, and not having Ascend was like such a shock. It just felt like, how was I even supposed to get around in the world without having Ascend? Because I was doing some like climbing around and stuff, and it sucked. Okay, this is where we were, I think. Now it's just a matter of... I mean, this is the tunnel I was in. <gasps> oh, jeez. But where exactly did I use Ascend? This is probably not it. No. Oh, this could be it. Yes, all right. Where am I? Am I still technically in the waterworks? All right, bubble frog down and um, yeah, I don't think that actually is registered. Oh yeah, here. Okay, so cool. Wow, I don't know uh, how you would have found that except by accident. All right, I'm gonna warp out of here and then we can go talk to Yona and that other person, I guess. I don't think we need to, but just because. Okay, let's see. I know you can ascend right under one of these bridges. I think it's this one. Oh, come on. I've done this a few times already. Where is it at? Here. And which way? Where's Yona's got to be over here somewhere. Oh, yeah. His wife. Hmm. I did not find his wife. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, we found the Greaves, Yona. Oh, Sir Link, about the Greaves. Oh, we found him. Don't worry. So a large hole opened up within the waterworks, draining the water, and the Zora Greaves were at the bottom of that big hole. Extraordinary. After all that, my Sidon has told me. I can safely say that it is so like you to find them on your own, Sir Link. May they prove useful to you during your noble travels. The Zora Greaves are a symbol of the friendship between Zora and Hylians. As such, it is most fitting a most fitting gift for you, as you truly are an irreplaceable friend to all the Zora of the Domain. Speaking of irreplaceable friends, whenever my dear Sidon opens his mouth, chances are it is to speak of you, Sir Link. You'll, he'll say things like, Link is the best, and also, no task is unsurmountable when I am with Link. I feel a bit silly telling you this, but after all that has transpired, I truly understand how he came to feel that way. Sir Link, thank you so very much that he has found a true companion in you makes me as happy as it does him. <laughs> Zora's domain will always be with you now and forevermore. Consider that a fervent promise. Please do not be a stranger, dearest friend of the domain. That's cute. Let's go see if Sidon has the quest. Okay, secret treasure. Okay. Link, your timing is impeccable as always. Mm. I've not discovered any new hints about your princess, I fear. However, I have stumbled across something fascinating. As uh, I was diligently organizing texts relating to the royal family, I came across one of the partic one of particular interest. Mm -hmm. The context regarded a secret treasure, and at once I thought of you. It seems just your sort of thing. So intrigued, I am intrigued. I, you never disappoint, do you? Yes, this is just what I expected from my dearest companion. Mm -hmm. In that case, I shall let you in on the mystery. There was a passage in the text I mentioned that went as follows. Mm -hmm. The great fish, the eternal guardian, a secret treasure awaits just beneath the stony form of its statue. Oh. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue, leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. Oh. So what do you make of it? It, it is like a good old-fashioned treasure hunt, is it not? 
That said, it was a very old book, so it's questionable whether the secret treasure is still there or ever was. However, if there is truth in those ancient words, this treasure may be of use to you. If you see fit, I encourage you to seek it. Treasure under the great fish. And then it said... Below... Oops, oh, jeez. What was it? Secret? Here we go. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue... Leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. Is that talking about the same fish that we were just at? I don't know. Let's go take a look. I hate how that when you're in town, you don't have the champions or champions, the sage's abilities, because I'm always pressing A to get Tulin's gust. And he's never in, he's never there when I'm in town. So let's go check out the fish one more time. And also I suspect maybe May is over there as well. Ooh, this is a big one. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is huge. And there we go. Beneath the bridge, it said, which I think that's referring to the waterfall that comes down off of the fish, but it said two waterfalls. So let's go take a look. I guess if we see multiple waterfalls, we might be in the right place. That's really the only thing that's like great fish shaped out here. Where did that thing just fall? Ah, this is what I need right here. Okay. Hold on, Link. Well, I definitely see one waterfall. Oh. Let's go take a look at these. I'm also curious, what did the w wife wafted away this time? <laughs> um, Franck is worried for his wife. The last he saw her, May was crossing a bridge in the east of the domain, singing about hopping and skipping to a floating place. That might be somewhere else, I guess. Come to think of it. Pass through two waterfalls. Um, below the bridge that reaches for the statue, leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. Okay. Oh, wait. Are those two waterfalls right there? I think so. And it says beneath the bridge. I think we're on the right track here. Well, there's one waterfall. I don't know. Let's take a look. That's... Oh, no. That's not what I want. Let's just go through. <laughs> of course. Of course, it's a Korok. Okay, so there's nothing behind this. There's another Korok. I don't see the stone, though. Um, okay, so... So where... That's that, where that falls... Or wait, is it...
under where this waterfall falls, which is right here. And then it says two waterfalls. Here's one. Here's probably another one. Below, pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. Yeah, what does it mean? Um, I don't know. Let's go check over here. Let's see. Would it be better to go back up the waterfall, maybe? <laughs> what I am assuming we're looking for is like a cape. Oh, here's that. That boulder. Can we reach? I don't know. Maybe? Oh yeah, we can reach it. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Is this a waterfall over here? Well, no, not exactly. Oh, yeah, it is. I don't know. Let's try going behind this. Ugh, our dead end? Oh, wait. No, no, no. Might be something right over here. Nope. Well, what in the world? Okay, I looked everywhere over where we just were and I couldn't find anything. And so it occurs to me that there's another giant fish right here. And then it does say bridge. I was assuming that it was meaning the water bridge, but it says below the long bridge that reaches for the statue past beneath two waterfalls. So I think they would mean this bridge. And I believe there, well, there's just a big waterfall. Mmm, let's see. Yeah, I'm only seeing this big one. Let's just go down here and see if there maybe is something behind this. In Breath of the Wild, there was. Kind of like right here. Darn it. I'm just looking for other waterfalls. I don't see any besides this one. So let's just drop down here. Yeah, in Breath of the Wild, you could come under here, but there was really nothing. There was like a chest or something. Okay, but now we have a cave, so... Now we're getting somewhere. Cave under Zora's domain. Oh, no! Uh... There's a chasm. <gasps> under the domain. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So we went under the one waterfall, and then... Here's another one. Where are the greaves? Let me put those on. Oh my gosh. Here it is. How cool. Yeah, I was looking all over the place. The Varuta Divine Helm. Helm worn by a warrior who protected the Zora in a time of beyond memory. It's said to deepen the bond with the Zora when worn by Hylian. So let's see. I just want to see Sidon wearing it, his avatar. <laughs> there it is. All right, we did it. That was a challenge. There's a couple other quests, but I'm kind of a little bit curious about this chasm. Remember, um, Master Koga is supposed to be somewhere over here, I think. Grab these. I think we should go dive down this thing and see what's down there. Discovery chasm under Zora's domain. And jump. Ooh, 
Uh, what? Well, just... Hey, I'm stuck. Oh my gosh, it scared me. I thought I was gonna dive head first into the floor. It was like, um, frozen. Oh look, I've actually been here before. Yeah, we found this, um, I don't know, we were following statues or something. Let's see, up oh, there's Koga. Oh my gosh, let's do it. Um, but I don't want to wear this. I want to wear... I don't know, should I just wear a traditional? I hate how the champion's leathers are way down in the bottom of my thing. I want them to be up here. With this stuff. Master Koga, what am I doing wrong? Maybe my angle's off. No, that's still not working. Whoa, how long have you been there? Why, you little tried to catch me off guard, did ya? You. Cowardly sneak. Like I said before, my plan has changed, but we already mined up everything there is to mine around here. So, so what you saw was just, you know. I was killing time. <laughs> okay, sure you were. And... So, yeah, you get it. Anyway, I can't believe you followed me to another mine, persistent little pest. In honor of our long-awaited reunion, I graciously allowed you to fight me one-on-one -on -one before, but right now you're the last thing on my mind, because the end is nigh. He's coming with an army this time. Oh, no, in the water? Please, no. Oh, gosh. I've got things to do, so let's make this real quick. Yiga Clan, attack. In the water, though? Give me a break. Uh. All right, um... Oh, Yenobo, thank you for that idea. How about this? Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Um... I'll take this, then. Since he's gonna conjure himself another one. Let's do that again. Actually, that worked out really well. Okay. I feel better about this. Should we take this one now? <laughs> oh, and now he's got a barrier, but we can still take out his other... his two guys. Oh, shoot! Got him. But my Stalnox pul pulverizer's going out. Bummer. He's got another barrier. I wonder if this will be the last fight with him. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Perfect. Ah, there we go. Got him. Gah. The steering stick got wet, so my hand slipped. No matter. Once again, you're too late. I've already dug up all the crystallized charges this place had to offer, and there's more. I just got word from my underlings that they located the man himself. They found the demon king? Um, oh, this is bad. Just one more step. One teeny little step until the Yiga clan's long-standing desire comes to fruition. Mm. We now have more than enough crystallized charges, and there's only one more abandoned mine to ransack. <clears throat> Hear me now, Link. Gosh, the music got so scary. Now it's time to start the final excavation. The northwestern abandoned mine awaits. That's where I'll use those charges to activate our ultimate weapon and offer it to the Demon King and bring the world to its end. Our next encounter will be our last. The music is uh, terrifying all of a sudden. I'm scared. They found the Demon King. You'll get yours. Just you wait. 
my word. So, okay. Thanks for eliminating the intruders. I was listening closely to the goings-on. The northwestern abandoned mine that man headed for is likely the abandoned Hebra mine. There's a few chasms in Hebra by which to reach it. The path stretching from the Hyrule Ridge that was previously used is no longer a viable route. Though I recall there being a chasm somewhere that connects directly to the abandoned mine. Okay. Um, let's get the chest. I feel like things just got very serious. Ooh. Okay, that's exciting. <laughs> they found the Demon King. What do I do with this knowledge? I process Zonite here into other materials. I'm willing to accept Zonite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we already had activate this, activated this before. Oh, bummer. But we can trade all of these. Oh. How do I only have 61 zonite? I'm gonna keep a few just for hover bikes. Okay, so I've got 480 now. I wonder if there was any... I guess I... Did I already get the schema stone and everything from here? Because usually there is one. Northwestern abandoned mine, blah blah blah. I think I did, because it was some kind of an um, electric boat. Or s yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, they found the Demon King, and I guess they're working with him now. So, I feel like that's... Um, I definitely want to go to that mine now. That sounds really intriguing. Okay, well, anyways, guys, I think that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and come back next time for more. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there.